what's up so mates and welcome back once again to class guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make a basic body pattern okay although i've made this video in my this particular video in my previous class but that one was very very sophisticated like all the details is in that particular video okay but this is just like a simplified form of the previous video aha uh -huh. yesterday was valentine right and a lot of you celebrated valentine's day a lot of you shared the love showed the love okay ah uh, on my own side that wasn't the case i was indoors all through yesterday i didn't have any place to go any place in mind or rather because i just um relocated from my former state to my current state where i'm serving my country yeah so okay guys so yesterday i didn't go anywhere i was at home all through all right so guys like i said today's video is a simplified one all right if you've not subscribed to this channel please do that now subscribe now click also on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video and also if by the end of this video you find it helpful in any way or you learned something new please do not hesitate to give me a thumbs up okay so without taking much of our time let's get into the video love you all so guys on this pattern paper we are going to draft our basic bodies gown okay so as you can see i've made my markings i have my shoulder line i have this is for the armhole okay this is the bust point line this is the waistline this is the hip line and this over here is for the zip allowance and don't forget this pattern paper is on fold so now i'm going to mark in a necessary measurement now i'm going to take a neckline of three by three inches for the front neckline this is standard three inches by three inch okay and note for the front pattern i'm marking from this line okay i do not start marking from the pattern this side So now this is for our neck width and neck depth. Now on the bust point measurement here, I'm going to insert my bust measurement. And I have 40 divided by 4. That will give me 10 inches. So on my chest line here, I'm also going to impute my 10 inches. On the waist line here, I have 36. So I divide that into 4, that will give me 9 inches. So mark on my hip line here for four by four that will give me eleven inches. Okay, so now I'm going to connect my dots. Thank you. 
So you can use your hip cuff to um, trace this area or you can use freehand sketch or you can do the way I'm doing then later you blend all these sharp edges okay so now I'm going to mark the down part of my that's the hemming area all right so because this is going to be a penciled gown I have 11 inches here right so at the hemming area here I'm going to minus 2 inches from my 11 inches that will give me 9 so I'm going to mark in 9 and then again I will connect So by the way, the pattern paper is length 39 and I'm using all of it as my, sorry, I'm using all of it as my full length for my gown. So you see all this sharp edge, sharp edge, I'm going to blend it off while cutting out or rather I can use my armhole curve to blend it can you see that so we don't need the sharp edges okay so this is what we have for the circumference of our body and remember when you're marking on your pattern paper we don't add allowance you only add allowance when you're marking with your when you're marking on your fabric so now i'm going to connect my neckline and from this point here you can come up by one inch this will serve as guideline that you are going to trace like this to that one inch okay then you finish it up to the neckline like that okay so this is our neckline for the front so at the armhole area here, I'm going to divide 7.5 into 2. Okay, this is for the front armhole. So dividing 7.5 into 2, I have 3.75, which is this point here. So I'm going to mark it. And I'm also going to come in by half inch, or you can also come in by 7.5 but i would rather come in by half inch so now we are about to create our armhole then with my armhole curve i'm going to finish up the armhole area okay so this is it for the armhole the next thing I'm going to insert is my boss pan measurement. So the boss pan is 8. When you divide 8 into 2, that will, that will give us 4, four inches, right? So I'm going to mark 4 inches. 4 inches. And also 4 inches at the waistline here. So I'm going to connect... So mind you, our basic gown is going to, our basic bodice is going to come with the waist that, okay? So at the bust line here, I'm going to come down by one inch. And at the waist line here, I'm going to go up by two inches. So now at the waist line here, I'm going to take half, half inch depends on what you want okay you can take one inch but i would rather take one inch for this tutorial so now the next thing i'm going to do is to connect from this waistline to the hip area
so now i'm going to connect from that point there to the waistline so guys this is it for the waist that okay so now the next thing i'm going to do is creating my back neckline so for the back neckline i'm still going by three inches width and one inch depth okay for the back neckline So this is it for the back neckline. So you are going to extend the line into the zip area like that. Did you see that? So now at the back part of your fabric, that is if you are cutting directly on your fabric, on the waistline here, I'm going to come in by half inch. Okay. And now I'm going to trace this half inch all the way and I'll terminate it. The same thing. I'm going to trace it and I'll terminate it maybe one and a half inches before the hip line. So with my ruler, I'm just going to do that now. So this will prevent um So this will prevent zip puff at the back of your dress. If you are watching and this tutorial has been helpful or you've learned something new, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time we upload a new video. So now this is the look of our basic bodies pattern, right? For a gown. So now guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to cut off. But before I do that, I'm going to use my tracing with to trace these lines onto the back pattern. Okay. So another thing you are going to do for the back is to cut out this area that we marked out. Okay, so this is it. This will help eliminate any off at the back so now the next thing i'm going to do is to slit the remaining part of my back pattern and this is our back pattern i'm going to keep it aside for now and i'm going to cut off this line remember i said we don't need it
so now guys this is our front bodies we have it here i'm going to cut out the front neckline So this is our front neckline, front bodies, and this is the back bodies. Okay, so the last thing you are going to do to these back bodies is, on our waistline here, I'm just going to mark out the line so that it will be visible enough. Okay, so I'm going to mark out the waistline. Waist line, bust point line, and the hip line. Okay, let me change my marker. The hip line. So, just the same thing you did at the the front pattern you're going to come up by two inches here okay then from your shoulder line here you're going to mark eight inches okay so your dart is starting from this point here So remember the zip allowance at the back so instead of marking four inches for the that taking i'm going to mark five this is plus the zip allowance okay because as you can see it's no longer visible here but on your fabric definitely it will still be there so you just take your 4.5 because remember you are going to add allowance when you are marking on your fabric still the same thing you come in by half half inch on the waist line here we have our back and our front pattern paper together here as you can see everything is well shaped looking perfect and beautiful already so when you transfer this to your fabric you are going to get something nice on yourself okay guys so this is it with the tutorial if you find this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and also click on the notification bell very very important so that you'll be the first to know each time we upload a new video also subscribe to this channel because in this channel our second name is details okay we give you all the details thank you for watching see you on my next one bye